Today's video sponsor is Weeble, a free online stock brokerage giving my audience six free stocks to sell for bike parts. All you got to do is click the link in my description, deposit as little as one cent into your brokerage account, and they give you all that free money. Good luck. All right, everybody, we have a little bit different video today. I'm at my parents' house. We've got dad back there. Oh my God. There he goes. He's excited for today's video. We're we're doing something a little bit different. So I've been watching this guy on YouTube by the name of uh, Demolition Ranch, and uh, I, I personally love guns. I also love BMX. So I thought, why not combine the two and see what happens if we send some rounds onto a BMX wheel? Now this is the wheel from the $20 wheel challenge that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace, and it's been a great wheel. It's a, a stock cinema wheel. Although it has been great, it serves absolutely no purpose to me or really any of the people I ride with because it's just not a good wheel. So we are going to see what happens if we shoot it with multiple rounds and then I'm gonna try to ride it and see what happens. <laughs> I think he, he's ready. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with. Uh, we're gonna work our way up and maybe nothing's gonna happen, maybe it will happen, but then, um, I'm going to try to ride it afterwards. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. So here's what we've got. 16 gauge shotgun. We've got a 22 rifle and we've got two nine miller, uh, nine millimeter Smith and Wessons. This one's mine, this one's my dad's. So I think we're gonna start with the 22 and see if we can't shoot out the tire before we throw a bunch of uh, BBs at it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty accurate except that uh, I'm a bad shot. So <laughs> why don't you try? All right, I'll okay. try. We'll load it up. I'm gonna try to aim for the tire. I'm not the best shot, but we're gonna try to aim for the tire. Woo! Woo! Got it, Bullseye! first shot. Right. Ooh! Booyah! Oh, wait. No, I hit the rim. It went through the rim and punctured it. Can you get this shot right here? So I was actually off by about an inch. I hit the rim. I'm surprised that it went through the rim. Oh, that's a good shot. Not terrible. Not terrible. All right, so we shot the 22. Now we're moving on to, he's got his nine. I've got my nine. We're gonna put some rounds into it. And uh, yeah, make some bigger holes. Hopefully. Down there, it made a much bigger hole. Oh yeah. As opposed to the little 22 over there. Yeah, bigger hole, but man, I'm a terrible shot. Oh, you, oh, you hit it twice here, it looks like. I hit the arrow with the second arrow. Yeah, wow. I'm like Robin motherfucking hood. <laughs> it's yeah. not easy to hit. It's pretty hard to hit. It's pretty hard to hit. <laughs> so it looks like we need some target practice. I, I only hit it once, he hit it twice. I think I shot, I shot 15 rounds. I'm not, I'm not a very good shot, gotta work on that. But uh, now we're gonna move up to hopefully the grand finale, put a few more bullet holes in it, the shotgun, and then uh, maybe shoot until the sun goes down and really try to destroy this thing. Cause right now, I don't know. I think I could hot bar spin this wheel pretty easy. We need to do some damage to it. Here we go. It's alive, the GoPro's alive. Totally Good job, fine. little buddy. Totally fine. You can see uh, some of the hits there, yeah. Oh yeah, it didn't even go through, it just peppered it a little bit. Yeah, BBs. Got safety on it, there's not one in the chamber. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. Learn how to use a gun before you shoot bike wheels. All right, so I'm gonna finish these out. You move a little bit closer. And I'm gonna aim right for the center this time, because like I said, I aimed up to the left to save my GoPro. But I think we're good this time, so. Yep. Wow, it literally just like peppered the spokes. It didn't even really do much. It bent them up here, but I'm, I wonder why I bent him so bad that time. So if you're ever riding and you get shot with a shotgun, you might not be fine, but your bike is. Just keep on pedaling. It's not even going through the tire. Oh, it is a tiny bit, some places. I don't think we're blowing this thing up. I think you're gonna be able to ride it. 
I think this is gonna be too easy. All right, I more say, damage. I say we load you up with four rounds. You just blast it, and then I want another round each on the nine millimeters. Time to go nuclear. Oh, still standing. Oh no! Oh god, it's like stabbed into there now. <laughs> it's gonna have to work for now. Yeah, we're peppering it all up there. Yeah, not really doing but, much. Uh, not a lot of damage. This is a pretty tough tire. Is it even going all the way through? The it very rarely looks like it's actually going through the tire. I didn't feel any ricochet, so I don't think it's bouncing back at us. No, it's not. Not to any serious degree, but yeah, you can see all the BBs. Wow, nothing much going on. The only thing that's really doing, surprisingly, the 22 did much more damage, but it would take, you know, a year to do anything. Well, let's say we send it off with a couple more nine clips. All right. Yeah, you popped the tire with the first shot. Okay. Once again, I hit it like one time. I hit it once here. Oh, we blew out some spokes this time. Oh, yeah. Nice hole there. Oh, man. Okay, now this just got interesting. Now it's going to be hard to ride. Oh, yeah, it's for gonna sure. Pretty quick. Yeah, it is. All right. We weakened it. So the temperature dropped like a rock. I, uh, I'm still trying to get like, the, I've only put maybe like 100 rounds through my gun, so I, I want to put some more rounds through it. I'm gonna do one more, and then we're gonna go inside and eat sweet and sour chicken that mom made. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. We we might be annihilating spokes, but I will say, I had seven rounds, and five of those rounds I was trying to shoot the hub. I thought I might get a money shot with the hub right in the middle, so I didn't expect to hit anything that time. But since I was aiming in there, I might have blown out some spokes. So let's do one final look and go inside. All right, upon final inspection, I do not think I blew out in the sp oh maybe actually yeah i blew one out and stabbed it into the into the cardboard there nice work. i did blow one out but i do not think i actually hit oh i did i got the bullseye i did hit it yeah i mean it somewhat turns should be good but we're just gonna clean everything up now go inside and then tomorrow i'm gonna inspect it put it on the bike and see how it runs. But I, I did hit the bullseye. That's actually awesome. I'm pretty excited about that. Get a good shot of the bullseye hit right there. That's pretty decent for me. But yeah, we did a good number on this thing. Not as much as I thought, but it'll still be interesting. So here's the front side of it. You can tell we got some good action. I hit the bullseye here. I got that and the spokes are all blown out. So here's the front side of it. The back side of it looks pretty good. We've got one exit from the nine. Looks like that was the exit from the 22, I believe. Right here. And then um, some dents from the nine, but it didn't always go through. We only have one full exit besides the one on the tire from the 22. But other than that, I think we might have caught some bullets actually. Yeah, there's stuff rattling around. So I'm gonna leave this and we'll, we'll inspect this tomorrow. If you listen carefully. There's no way we didn't catch a couple nine millimeters and there's gotta be a ton of BBs in here. I cannot wait to open this thing up and see what's inside. I cannot wait to ride this thing. Look at this. I don't even, I don't even know what this piece of plastic is. No idea where that, oh, eh. Don't ask me what all this other uh, random stuff is here. This, this is Doug's house, I don't know. But I'm gonna try to take off this tire carefully so I can leave things in there, get the bullets down towards the bottom. I gotta be careful not to cut myself on any shrapnel, any loose metal. Ah, what do you know? Pretty easy to take off. All right, I should be wearing gloves. I highly recommend you wear gloves if you do this. First of all, don't do this. Don't shoot guns at 
bike parts. But comment down below what bike part you want me to shoot next. Because I will shoot them all. Tires off. I don't, I don't even know if the hub is going to spin, by the way. So little piece of metal right here. I don't know if this is part of the 9mm. I don't know if this is the 22. I think it's part of the rim. I don't really know. But I, when you, okay, listen to this. Hear that? Oh no! Oh, we definitely have some bullet fragments, some other rim. Dude, here's all the BBs. So here's all the BBs. It caught all those BBs. Look at that. We've got some piece of the rim. God, sharp metal. Then we've got, I wanna try to find a piece of the, I can't get the camera to focus, but this little gold piece of metal right there, that is part of the nine millimeter. All of these BBs. That is crazy. It caught a lot of stuff, a lot of the rim. Ow! I don't know. I'm gonna clean this out, throw it back on the wheel, and uh, try to do a bar spin on it. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> you think it'll air back up, or should I get a new tube? It's not gonna air back up. <laughs> yeah, look at the holes in the tube. It's not gonna air back up. <laughs> I bet this would sound crazy on the garbage disposal. This is a horrible angle. I don't know how many of you are actually familiar with guns. I should have showed you the bullets going into it first, but I, I can show you a nine millimeter bullet right here. So this, this is what was shot out of both pistols. The first rifle was smaller than the shotgun was BBs, but so this little metal tip right here, remember how I said there was a gold piece? That's what this was. So these, we're going into holes like that. So there you have it, in case you don't know. In case you don't know anything about, uh, in case you're not American. I've already stabbed myself like five times trying to put the tire back on the rims because of all these sharp spots on the edge, but I don't know if it's gonna be easier to do that or just ride it with the rim. Tire, tire or no tire? No tire, just- No tire, it. really? Just the molly shit. All right, <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be more exciting anyway. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it definitely spins, that'll for sure ride. Oh my God, if you guys watched the last bike roast, you will understand the significance of this dead ass plant. That's actually hilarious. All right, so we are gonna have one final look. It's it's on the bike. We took it to the bike shop. I didn't film the reactions because at this point they're so used to my bullshit that they just they're like, okay, yeah, he shot up a wheel. What's next? But so I've got the wheel right here, and it looks so much crazier when it's actually on the bike. You know, it looked. I was kind of disappointed with it at first, but then I saw it on the bike. I was like, wow, this is gonna be crazy. And for some reason, the spokes, every single spoke, got extremely loose. So uh, they all predicted that I'm gonna do a bar spin and just completely destroy it. But as we talked about at the beginning of this video, that was my only goal was to do a bar spin. So I'm gonna show it to you one last time. Take a good look because this might last one bunny hop. Eh, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but you know, you got a normal bike, you know, we got a good Odyssey. You know, no, actually that's an E-Claw wheel, you know, Sunday frame. And then we've got the bike with the nine millimeter holes all in it. Look at how crazy this looks. But look, it rolls. It doesn't make any noise, and it's actually fairly true. It does not roll very long, but like this is in surprisingly decent condition. Oh wow, I tightened this hat way too tight. Good lord. Maybe it'll stay. God, that's fucking, that's really tight. <laughs> does it look tight? It look fine. Does it look really tight? <laughs> Uh, <coughs> squeeze my brain out of my ears. Now it's too loose. Whatever. All right, let's see. Drop test. You ready? I'd say pass with a B minus. Epic drop in. We ready? Should I just roll in or should I do a bunny hop or? Just roll in first. Just roll in. <laughs> All right, I'd say that was an A plus. Didn't sound great. Sounded kind of like I was walking on a bed of Cheez-Its, but that's okay. So I think we should just go <laughs> straight to the bar spin because this isn't gonna last very long. Now I'm kind of nervous. I'm gonna bar spin. It's gonna look like I'm trying to bar spin manual, but the reason is is because I don't want to land and then just go straight teeth to the concrete. Because these, I've already knocked them out one time. I don't want to knock them out again. So I'm gonna, I don't want to knock them out again. Oh, now I'm kind of nervous. I was just telling him how I was super confident in this wheel, but after listening to it. 
I gotta throw it, dude. This has got like two hops in it. It's holding up though. Oh shit. Ah, oh, no. I gotta do it, dude. It's like I'm getting anti hop every time. All right, we gotta go. Dude. All right, okay. All right. But are you ready for this? Ah! Oh, that just sounded awful. I think we got one bar it. We definitely have to one bar it, don't we? Oh, I can't, I don't want to drop it. I'm just like trying to save it. Oh man. Dude, it's holding up. $20 marketplace wheel with all balls. It's too good. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fake you out of it. That's good. What if I, yeah, but I'm like sliding around. Uh -huh. What if I, okay, we're gonna go down here. I'm gonna go up this bank, bar spin, come down. So it's kind of like I'm doing a one, it's like a 90 bar spin, but I don't want to fake you out and rip all the spokes out. I felt that wheel coming, that that sharp wheel coming right for my knee and I bailed. Dude, it's holding up, I think. Okay, I have one more, one more trick I wanna do. Because I think it's gonna survive it. Spoke's supposed to be on the outside of the rim though. Actually, maybe it is. What do I know about bikes? What do I know? Maybe it's supposed to be there. Yeah, you can't fake you with it. Dude, I don't know. I kind of want to send it down that hill. Should I look at it? Or should I just not do it? Mm -hmm. They said don't do it. I'm doing it. Okay, I have a little bit more confidence now. I think I should stand. <laughs> it's holding up! Fake you out. I mean, that wasn't a fakey, but it's slick. Dude, that was my banger. Some people, they truck down sets. I shoot my front wheel, take off the tire, and we'll roll down a lumpy hill. This is fine, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't slide. Double, oh. did you get lines? <laughs> Sounded horrible. Look at it. Holy shit. Let's see if I can get a good shot. Oh, yeah, dude. It's all gridded up. Oh, that feels terrible. It's like sandpaper. If you want a new wheel, cinema's the way to go, apparently. Bro, what if I actually sold this wheel? I'm pretty sure somebody would buy it. Should I, like, list it for, like, 100 bucks? Yeah, dude. On my website? Like, the most indestructible tire. It's gone through bullet hole shotgun shells with no rim or tire on it. What what should the price be on this thing? Just for novelty. Bro. Give me a price and I'll use it. $175. $175? All right. You got it. I'm listing this wheel on my website for $175. I'll... I've got a few beanies and sunglasses left in stock. If you really actually buy this wheel, I'm gonna send you some actual stuff with it if I have any left. But I'm gonna list this on my website in the description, $175. I'm gonna have to make a disclaimer. Do not ride this wheel. Do not ride this wheel. It's pure novelty, but hey, he listed the price. If it's there, I think it'd be kind of cool. I'd want to buy something for my favorite YouTuber that's like a prop. Yeah. I think it'd be kind of cool. Maybe we should do that. Like in case like someone just like got money and wants something, I don't know. Dude, this is an art piece right here. This is actually pretty awesome. Hang this on your wall. That's that's art. I guarantee like five years from now I'm gonna buy it back from them for like five grand. <laughs> Twenty grand. Cause this is some this is like a legendary moment. 
I don't know if it's ever been done. I was super nervous and it held up, it worked. We didn't even lose any more spokes besides the one that ended up up here, but we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on my website. Dude, it's gonna cost me 50 bucks just to ship this stupid thing. <laughs> there you have it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And I don't know if I should do this again. I don't know if this will work at all. I don't even know what I'm gonna do for the title and thumbnail, but if this was interesting, please let me know down below uh, something else you wanna see, something else we could shoot. We could get some Tannerite, uh, maybe some bigger guns if I can get my hands on those. And I don't know, I had a lot of fun. Thought it was a little bit different. Subscribe to him. Check his channel out, Thug is Famous. Uh, pick up your merch. We've got hats, we've got sunglasses, we've got pink beanies, all sorts of different colors. And the wheel will be on my website. Thank you guys. <coughs> See you next time. Hey!